What an absolute shit wad. Kill the fuck ass. Oh. Just like that person in town that's killing the men off. <laughs> what? They can't find the killer. <laughs> but all the men that have been murdered are cheaters. Yeah. She draws a ring of lipstick around their lips, <laughs> around their cheating mouths. <laughs> Do you think killing someone would make the pain go away? Fuck yeah! Ride me! Angela. Yeah. <laughs> You're Angela. True. I'm Vera. I used to change your diapers. Vera Crandall. Crazy Cra <laughs> Mrs. Crandall? <laughs> oh, your mom and me used to have so much fun when you were little. She was always so happy. Happy little plum. Apple. Which one's sweeter? Not sure. So sad when she died. Your mom. Divorce makes people do crazy things. She wasn't too happy in the end. I heard you moved to the city. Yeah, I moved back here a few months ago. <laughs> For God's sake, why? I mean, I am pretty much jobless. On this. Don't lose. <laughs> to be one of the people getting murdered in this town. <laughs> oh. Oh, mm. you look you oh shut the fuck You want to ride me? So I don't want to right now. I'll give you 20 bucks if you vouch for her being 21. Yeah, sure, get in. You see? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. What the? You've got to be kidding. You know, it doesn't exactly instill confidence when I see you staring at Britney's tits all night. They're nice tits. What do you want me to do, not be who I if am? If who you are is a shit, then yes, I'd prefer you to change. That's what Amber would always say. <laughs> oh, when she caught you putting your hand on Madison's pants? I don't blame her. You're always bringing that up. You know what? You won't have to worry about that anymore. Could you pull over? Oh. <sighs> I hope the next woman you screw with makes you suffer. Actually, don't be surprised if it's me. Women. I'm kind of glad that big scuzzball got us to come in here. Because <laughs> there's always been boys like him. They always remain boys. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear a broken heart. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom! <laughs> Can hear it a mile away, honey. How? And that things went south with my guy last year. Boom! Divorce? Nah. He just left. Left me with nothing. Asshole. Take your medicine. <gasps> Good girl. Good girl. Come on, spell it. Tell me. Uh. <laughs> 
He left me at the altar. Oh, what a cock! A roach. <laughs> This is in the church. Mm, oh. In Madras. <laughs> I am sorry, honey, but he's, pardon my French, he is an asshole. I know, but that's why I feel so stupid because I still have feelings for him and I'm thinking about him and I miss him and I changed my whole outlook on life and love and happiness. And now I'm here in a job that I hate and a place that I hate. Mm, what else? I hate my boss. Oh, oh God! I hate my clothes. Oh, you! Good. I hate my apartment. Uh. Oh, oh! What else? I hate that little shithead over there. Ditched again. Even the little shithead left. Mm-hmm. No shitheads better watch out. This town is getting rid of them, one by one. All the shitheads and all the cheaters are getting what's theirs. Can't say I care too much. Fucking heartbreakers think they can just come and keep breaking our hearts over and over and over again until it just crumbles into a million pieces and kills us? We might as well kill before being killed. That be all, doll? Yes, please. You are here. Oh, did you think I would ditch you? I would never. Let's have a little ciggy. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you slap on a little face in the toilet? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that shade of lipstick, I love it. What's it called? Killer Red, it makes me feel better. Well, you look pretty as a peach. Slap on a little bit of mascara, you will be breaking hearts. Okay, I gotta go pee. Meet me in the car, I will just be two shakes of a lamb's tail. And you be careful out there. Oh, I'm fine. I'm not driving. <laughs> There's assholes everywhere. So far, the murders seem to be focused on local men, but investigators advise the public that everyone is at risk. Be aware of your surroundings, carry protective devices, and always travel in pairs. She's testified under oath that he sexually assaulted her. I mean, the, the, the difference between the procedural machinations about how this story came about, I predict, for what it's worth, will be forgotten very quickly. The point is the substance. Did she tell the truth about what Red Kavanaugh did to her? And, and, and if I can just add one thing about this guy and what he keeps coming out about it, is that he's been accused of murdering John Lee Carr. Him somewhere. That asshole's not gonna sidewind anybody anymore. <laughs> I mean, that, I think, is the question here. 
you. Uh, it's really not that hard. I mean, they all have it coming, so it's kind of easy. Why? Because when I found out Gus was popping that floozy, it broke me. Just like it broke all those other women. So I got justice for us. And I put myself back together again, too. <laughs> Didn't you throw a dart at this lion piece of poop back there tonight? Didn't it feel good? Sure, why? I just had better aim. Now look. As good as all that makeup feels, this is better. It's not just revenge. It's strength. It's power. It's kind of fun. Made me feel like a lady again. But I won't do it anymore. This could be the last one. Unless. <laughs> Ride me. I'm sick of being good.